everyone, it is Miss Armstrong here today for our Related Arts Counseling lesson. So I know this week some of us have been talking about things like coping skills and emotions, and then we've also been talking about a big emotion, which is anger. So today's lesson is gonna focus on that emotion of anger. So as a quick refresher, I know not all of us have gotten this lesson yet, so we're just gonna do a quick refresh on what we've learned about our brain so far. So some of us have, talk, have talked about our brain hand model, and we've learned about how the brain can affect our emotions and our feelings, and it can lead to something called flipping our lid, where we don't think about what we're gonna do, we just react, and it's usually a reaction out of anger or some big feelings that we have. So remember, we have talked about when our emotions get too big, sometimes we just flip our lids, right? That's when our guard dog takes over, and we're no longer using our wise eagle brain. And then yesterday, we talked about one technique of how we could stop ourselves from flipping our lid. And instead, instead we said we could stop, remember? So we were going to stop, take three mindful breaths, observe the feelings in our body, and then plan with focus and care about how we were going to move forward. If you haven't had some of these lessons, maybe you missed them, that's okay. You can still do this one with us today. So today we're going to learn about a different technique that ties in right here with this O of observe the feelings in our body. And we are going to learn about our CLT today, which is, I can name it, to tame it. So back to this saying we've said this week, when our emotions get too big, sometimes we just flip our lids. But when we can name it, we can tame it. And that's talking about how when we can name the emotions in our body, when we can observe what we're feeling, then it helps us better manage and stop us from flipping our lid. And we can react a little bit better with that wise eagle brain. So let's get on to today's lesson. I'm gonna get rid of this for us here. So today, we are talking about how anger is just like an iceberg. So I'm gonna draw my pretend iceberg real big up here, okay? So an iceberg is something that's found in the ocean and it's in the really cold parts of the ocean, like way colder than it is in Tennessee right now. And the crazy thing about an iceberg is we only see a tiny bit of it up top. So there's water all here, okay? And then underneath is the whole rest of the iceberg. It's just a big chunk of ice. And only a little bit of it can be seen up top, and then most of it's at bottom. In fact, some people even say that there's only 10% that can be seen from up top. So if you were in a little boat up here, you would only see 10% of the iceberg. Now, why are we talking about icebergs in our counseling lesson? Well, like I said, anger is a lot like an iceberg. So when we have situations that cause us to flip our lids, a lot of times we would say that we were feeling mad or angry or frustrated. So I'm gonna put those up here. But the reality of it is, usually there's a lot of other feelings that are going on with us. So that's why it's important that we take time to stop. So we stop, we take those three mindful breaths to help us calm down, and then we observe the feelings in our body. And we need to identify what's underneath that anger. So let's think about some of these situations that we've maybe talked about this week, where you were taking a test and you all of a sudden blanked, and you just shut down. Remember, we either flight, fight, or freeze. So say you just shut down and you think, I was mad because I couldn't get past it. What other feelings do you think you might have? Hmm. I might be feeling stress. Stress might be another feeling you've got going on. Or what about worried? Worry could be another feeling that you're experiencing at that time. What about, we talked about what if someone was picking on you? and it was really bothering you, and they had just done it just enough that you were about to flip your lid, but then you took time to stop, take those three mindful breaths, and check in on how you were feeling. What else might you be feeling? Maybe you're feeling upset. Maybe sad. 
So now that we have talked a little bit about our anger icebergs and how anger is just like an iceberg and how it's so important to do that O oh, and observe it so that we can name it and tame it, I want you all to make your own anger iceberg. So all you need for this is one blank piece of paper and then any kind of writing tool, okay? So you can have a pencil, markers, it's up to you. So what I want you to do on this piece of paper is I want you to draw your own anger iceberg. It's really easy, okay? All you have to do is take your piece of paper and you're really just gonna draw a funky shape on it. Your iceberg can look like whatever you want, okay? So just draw your funky iceberg looking shape. And then draw your water. And make sure when you draw that water, only a little bit's up top. We want most of it below. Now what I want you to do is label this, my anger iceberg. my anger iceberg and i want you to think about the last time or one of the most recent times that you flipped your lid so remember miss armstrong told you about how her beagle keeps getting in the trash can and that has made me flip my lid so i'm going to think about that how did i feel when my dog got in the trash can and i found trash all over the house Ooh, i was mad so i want you to write those anger adjectives those angry feelings like mad Angry, those go up top, right? But now I want you to sit and think. Stop and really think about it. So let's practice that stop. Let's take those three mindful breaths right now. And think about what other feelings you had under the surface, huh? So I was probably a little bit disappointed in my beagle because I feel like he should know better. So I want you to do this. Think about all of the different feelings that you have underneath that surface, underneath that anger. So hopefully when you're done, you should look a little something like this and be filled up with tons and tons of words. And then you can see, when we flip our lid, when we get mad, there's so much else going on inside of our body, isn't there? So that's why it's so important that we stop, we take those deep breaths and calm down, we really observe what's going on in our body. How are we really feeling? Because when we can name it, we can tame it. And then you can move forward by planning with focus and care. So make your anger iceberg, and we'll have another video to watch tomorrow. And then I can't wait to hear about, whoa, to hear about your anger icebergs when we're on live Zoom on Friday. So take time to do this today, friends, after we get off of this video. And you can always rewind and go back to those instructions. Have a great day.